Hello and welcome to our third grade math review part one. In this review, we will go over reading and writing numbers from 0 to 10,000 using standard form, expanded form, and word form. Remember, standard form is when you write the number in a regular way, like we normally see it on a, regular, in a daily basis. This number is 8,324. Expanded form is when we take the individual place values and we expand them to their actual value. So we would write out 8,000 plus 300 plus 20 plus 4. The 8 is in the thousands place, the 3 is in the hundreds place, the 2 is in the tens place, and the 4 is in the ones place. In word form, we would actually write out every single number in words. As we would say it with our mouth, then we write the words 8,324. So now you have the um, recollection of what standard form, expanded form, and word form are. Let's continue. What we're going to do here is write number the number 8,623 in words. So follow along with me as I write the number 8,623 in word form. Here we go. Let's choose a pretty color. Let's say blue. Now, the first number I hear is 8. So I would write the word 8. If you know how to spell 8, E-I-G-H-T. Okay, perfect. The next number I say is 1,000, 8,000. Every time we see a comma like that, it means 1,000. So I would write 8,000, T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D, 1,000. And then I continue with my comma. Now, the digit 6 is in the hundreds place, so now I write 6. But of course, I don't write a number. I write the word 100, 600. Now, this is where your spelling of these numbers comes in handy. So 8,600, now I only have to write 23. I'm going to go use the next space down here, spell the word 20, dash, and then 3. So that's 8,623. That's how I would write that number in words. Let's try the next one. Write the number 5,000 plus 400 plus 30 in standard form. I can do it two ways. I can write out my 5,000 and actually add 400, add 30 to that, and I would get 0 plus 0 plus 0, that's 0, 3 plus 0 plus 0, that's 3, 4 plus 0 is 4, and 5,000. So in standard form, it would look like this, 5,430. Okay, let's try the next one. Write the number 6,000 plus 700 plus 80 plus 5 in word form. Okay, so now 6,000, I would write the number, the word 6 first. And then 1,000, oops, too close, let's erase that. Gotta make sure that we're writing it in the proper way. That way it's not confused as to what number we're writing. All right, 6,000, spelling the word to the best of my ability, T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D, thousand. The next digit is 700. So I write this comma, 700. Remember, I'm spelling out all of my words correctly. And then 80. Let's spell 80, E-I-G-H-T-Y, and then last digit is 5, so dash F-I-V-E, 5, 6,785, you did it, let's try the next one, write the number 3,703 in expanded form. So what I'm going to do is write 3, I see the first number I see here is 3, so I write 3. Now, because they're asking for expanded form, that's the way I would expand out my place value. So my three is in the thousands place, so I write 3,000. Now I'm going to add that to whatever digit is in the hundreds place. So now it's seven in the hundreds place, so I write seven. Oh, no comma needed, but let's change that to a zero. Seven hundred. Okay? Perfect. Now, after the 700 comes 3, the number 3 should be next, oh, but I'm missing something. So what do I add? Hmm, there's no digit in the tens place, do you notice that? There's nothing that says 80 or 70 or 30 that should be in the hundreds place. So instead of um, putting, I'm not going to put any numbers, I'm simply going to write the number 3. And that would give me my correct answer. Right, so that's 3,703 in expanded form. All right, you're doing great. Let's move on to the next one. So select the number that has six in expanded form. 
select, I'm sorry, select the number that would have 600 in expanded form. 600 in expanded form. In other words, what, where is the 6 in the hundreds place? Well, let's find the number 6. Is there a number 6 in A? No. No number 6 in A. Is there a 6 here in B? No, there's no 6. Is there a 6 in C? Yes, there is. Is the 6 in the hundreds place? Would it be 600? Yes, it would be. But let's just take a look at the digit 6 here as well in D. That 6 is actually in the thousands place. So, the correct answer is C. Great job. All right, let's continue on. So with this problem, what we're going to do is select the correct choices to make the number 5,618 in word form correct. So, if I were to pick, what would I pick? Now, the 5 is in the thousands place. So I have to look for 5,000,156. So C would be correct over here. Okay, now the 6, I would say 618. So I'm looking for 600, 6318. So A is correct in this box. And now I'm looking for 18, 5618. So would I say 1? No. 8? No. 18? Yes. 81? No. So we would have our answers as C, A, and C. All right, great job. Remember, you can pause this video at any time during the video. If you're needing to review, if you're needing to go over something, that would be perfectly fine. It's to benefit you, okay? All right, let's go forward a little bit more. So now what we're going to do here is write the number 9032 in standard form. All right, the first number I hear is 9. So remember, standard form is our regular way when we normally, the, no, the way we normally see our numbers on a daily basis. So let's write 9 first. Now, when I hear the word thousand, it simply means that I need to separate my numbers with a comma in standard form. The comma is to separate my periods. Now, so we have 32. There is actually no, um, I, I don't hear any numbers in the hundreds place. Neither do I hear, yeah, I don't, I don't hear anything in the, in the hundreds place. So I'm going to place a zero to hold the place of the hundreds place value. Then 32, I know the 30 is because it's 30, it's in the tens place, and then two in the end would be in the ones place. So this is how I would write 9,032 in standard form. Nothing is in the tens, the hundreds place. So I place a zero to represent or hold a place of the hundreds place. Next question. Which is the number 3,861 written in words? Hmm, 3,000. I see 3,000 here, and I see eight. Hundred oh ninety one. So that is not correct. All right, let's read the next one. Three thousand. Three thousand. Six hundred. No, it's not six hundred. It's actually eight hundred. So automatically, this one is not correct as well. Let's keep going. Three thousand. Yes, eight hundred. That's correct. The eight is in the hundreds place. There it goes. Sixty one. Sixty one. Very good. Now let's just. I'll finish it off just to be sure. 3,600. See, that's wrong because the 6 is not in the 100 place. It's actually the 8. So this one is also incorrect. I have found my correct answer and it is C. Well done. Let's move on to the next question. Which is the number 9,304 in expanded form? 9,304. Okay, so this is 9,000, but then this is 34. I don't see a digit in the 100 place. I do have a digit in the hundreds place according to my word form here. 3,000. I'm sorry, 300. So I have to find 300. 9,000. I do have 300. What about 4? Ah, what I don't have is a tens place. See? 304. This is incorrect because it has a tens place. All right, so this is incorrect. This is incorrect. Let's try this one. 9,304. Hmm, looks like I found my answer. 9,304. This one is 900, so this one's not correct because I'm looking for 9,000. So cross that off, give me my answer here, which is again C. Great job so far, guys. I am so happy that you're doing a great job with me. Let's keep going. Which number is 4,700 plus 4,000 plus 700 plus 80 plus 3 in standard form? So right now it's written out for us in expanded form, right? And our job is we can do just as it says, add 4,000 
plus 700, but just make sure you line up the ones under the ones, the tens under the tens, and the hundred under the hundreds. If you do that, then your answer will be correct as long as you're adding correctly. Three plus zero plus zero plus zero is three. Eight plus zero plus zero, that's eight. Seven plus zero is seven, and then four. And this is how I would get my standard form. I can do it that way, or I can focus on my digits in the main place value here. So I could take the four, place it there. Take the seven, place it there. Take the eight, place it there in my tens place, and ones place, and so on. So I have my four in my thousands place, the seven, eight, three. I can do it that way, or I can add them all up just to be sure. So what I'm looking for is seven, four, seven, eight, three, four thousand seven eighty three. Four thousand seven hundred eighty three. Is this four thousand seven hundred eighty three? No. Is this four thousand seven hundred eighty three? No. Four thousand seven hundred eighty three. Yes. Four thousand seven hundred eighty three? No. Okay, so again, I found my correct answer. Let's try this one. So we've got, select the correct choices to make the number 3,258 in expanded form. Here we have 3,000, because it's 3,000, three in the thousands place. Now the two has to be in the hundreds place. Here we go. And then 58, 50, and eight. You did it. Great job. All right, let's try the next one. Write the number 6,108 in expanded form. This is where we take the digits and write them out according to their place value. So the six is in the thousands place. So we would write 6,000, right? And then we're going to add that to 100. Now, I want you to notice that there is nothing in the tens place. So what I have to do, I'm not going to just add a, write a zero here, that's not necessary, because it, it'll still be a zero, it won't make any sense to put a zero there, so I'm just going to go ahead and add the eight. And that's how I would write 6,108 in expanded form. Right. So with this problem, 7,593 in standard form, so I'm looking for the digit that's in the seven thousands place, or looking for seven in the seven thousands place. They all have seven in the thousands place, and a zero here, so that's definitely not my answer because I'm looking for a five. The rest of these do have fives. Now I'm looking for a 93. Uh, this is not a 93, so that's not correct. This is not a 93, it's a 39, not correct. This is 93, so this is correct. D is my correct answer to for 7,593. All right, and that's the end of our lesson. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you learned a lot um, when it comes to writing and reading numbers from zero to 10,000. Join me on part two, and we will review all of our third grade math materials together. Have a great one, take care.